wow. We are off and running. Now this is what I call a minimal viable product. So Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and in this video, we're gonna be kicking off part two of building in public. We're gonna be building Vibe Code Social. So if you watch part one, you see we did the planning phase. Now we're gonna take our first initial prompt that we got from Blue Mint AI into Lovable. We're gonna be building out some of the core, core functionality and building off that core. Along the way, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks for you guys to actually prompt better. I'm gonna show you guys how I actually use my audio voice to actually prompt. And we're gonna build a little bit of functionality to actually get our product all the way to minimal viable stage. So if you're ready, let's begin. So I've got it ready to go inside my, uh, my window that I currently have. So here's all my knowledge base of the app that I've already put in that, that I currently wanna use. Uh, everything from like integrations to real-time features that I'm looking for, from technical requirements, um, all the way to user journey of how I want things to be set up. There's just a lot of prompting engineering that goes into building this. And, I've, and I want you guys to know is that once you have this knowledge base in the very beginning, when it comes to building, it's gonna be a lot easier. If you're doing it this way that I have learned, it just takes a lot of time to building out uh, pages and you waste a lot of credits. And, and I learned the hard way. I spent a lot of money or just came in loops because it wasn't doing what I wanted. It looks like it's already ready to go. Uh, I'm actually gonna enable uh, cloud with this. Um, so this is AI's cloud, so it's gonna set up the entire database. Since I gave it enough text, it should be able to you know, start building it out. And the next thing I wanna do is that um, one of the things that Lovable has is their knowledge base. Now, I'm a big believer in the knowledge base. This really kind of helps my project build better. So I go into my Blue Mint AI, I go to my executive summary, and I go ahead and just copy my executive summary. This is kind of like my roles of what I wanna build out. And I go back into Lovable, go into my projects, go to settings, and I go to knowledge base, and I just drop this here. So this provides instructions of what I'm actually want to build out. Now this is another tip that I see a lot of people not doing, right? The reason why I do this is because I want the language model to know exactly what I wanna build out, what I'm expecting, what's my preference, my naming conventions, everything around my application. I can even drop my entire prompt if I want to, but this is just something that I do from the very beginning. This for me helps my, my prompting as I move forward or working with, with AI as I move forward. Before we go any further, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsors here today, which is you guys. If you haven't done so already, make sure you give this video a like and a comment and go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you guys don't miss another video. Let's continue. So currently, it's I've got the, the one prompt shot ready to go. And what we're going to be building again for those that um, just need a refresher, it's going to be like a social platform for vibe coders. Uh, I've got a list of preferences that I've already have with my, my, with my prompt and I'm just letting Lovable do its thing. And what we call that is cooking. So at it is enabling the cloud, it's already modifying the database. It's not hallucinating, it's, it's putting everything that we asked for, username, display, bio, avatar, vibe tags, creator timestamp, uh, description of posts. These are all things that I have asked for. Look how big this database call is. This is a massive database build out that I'm building with this one prompt. And usually, if you're not doing this, you're going to be building this piece by piece, database by database, using a lot of credits, because I've put in here with my features that I'm looking for tags, features and functionality, social integrations, project sharing, user profiles, I'm putting I'm putting a lot of stuff inside my minimal viable product with that one prompt that I was able to create with Bloomint AI. All right, it looks like our application has been built out. Um, so one of the things I always like to check is here to figure out how far this has gone. So it's got an authentication page ready to build out vibe codes, vibe code social has got the name. It's got the create page, which we need to log in the profile page. That's fine. We're not going to see any of this until we log in. So let's actually log in real quick. Uh, before I do that, I want to just check the cloud and I want to see all the databases that have been built from this. So it's been able to build four. One for comments, one for likes, projects, and profiles. Obviously, we've got a user data sets, no edge functions, nothing storage yet. There's no AI integration with it. So all this is good so far. So let's actually sign in real quick. Set create. All right, we just logged into the site. I'm going to see if I can log in. Okay, so I can see this is here. Uh, I think the feed takes me back to the home page. Let me see if I can create a post real quick. Um, let's call it our... 
lovable project. Now I'm just testing this real quick just to see how it looks like. All right, so I'm just putting in some information around the post to see how far this this goes. Okay, so it looks like I got a post here. If I go to my profile, I can see my post here. So, so far, so good. Obviously, the feed. So, I, I guess I'm pretty far. I mean, I, this is a, still a one shot, and we're able to uh, get pretty far with, with currently how it, how it looks like. Um, but here is the magic that I always do is I go into chat, and I put in here, what should we build out next now the reason why i do that is because the ai is already going to know what we've already built it already knows what our goal is of this application so it's going to give us recommendations of what to build next now this is something i do it just works really well um, and i use chat so what it's now doing is doing that deep thinking of actually how i want to build this application and what's next right so based off what it currently knows, it's going to look at everything it's already built out and it's going to already start cooking. So it's going to look at the current functionalities that we build within the MVP. Again, we set up the MVP, what we want it to look like. And now it's saying, okay, priority, it wants to build out comments, uh, profile onboarding, editing, editing and profile. So just giving me a bunch of suggestions of what's to be implementing next. Now, usually what happens is that Developers just start start trying to build out the about page and just spend a bunch of time or or the edit page and just try to go line by line and start going into like let's say profile and they're like okay now in the profile page I want to add socials and stuff like that and so forth. That's great. You can do piece by piece, but this is a way that I've been building that I feel like allows me to build a lot faster. So this is something where I can say, okay, here's what it's already built and here's what it's recommended me for a priority. So maybe I can just say, you know, build out one and two. Take the chat off and then I will, I will let it start building. It's going back to my original prompt and it's going back to my knowledge base to be able to build better. So let's see how far this one goes. All right, it looks like it is now completed the profile section. So again, it's done a lot of work around authentication, the profile, the player, the user card. So I think we're gonna have more access. So now when I hit edit, now I have everything of here build out. Okay, perfect. Go into these two section and say, Now, these are all kind of based off, again, my original prompt that I build out. This is just a way that I can enhance it and build out my my application. Oh, it's got a little bit of a, a glow underneath. And I think comments are now turned on. That was a, another addition that I added. So, uh, hello world. Okay, comments are now turning on. Great. So, that last prompt that we pushed out set up the profile and also allowed comments going on. And now I've got likes going on. So within about two prompts, um, I've got my one application set up to my edit page and then two comments were turned on because this, this was the commenting system and then this was the onboarding profile. So we we're just two prompts in so far of building this out. The next one we're going to be building out is enhanced discovery. Uh, no way filtering to people can search by tags, um, by training projects and better project view of projects. So again, we're letting the the AI kind of do its thing based off our feedback of what it's building. So it's done implement it. Now we've got a, uh, a little bit of a filter so we can search what's popular, what's trending, what's, what is the discussion people are talking about. I really don't like this background, so I'm just gonna do this. Sorry, there we go. So I said, let's change the background um, so we can have a video overlay in the back. So when that is playing, we'll have that up top. So, so far, we're this is starting to build out and starting to look pretty good. Because um, I don't really don't like this like imagery. Again, this is the purple stuff I told you. Okay. 
what a difference. What a difference uh, this is making. So now we're, we're, we're cooking. Uh, within four prompts, um, we've got something that's pretty good here. Let's actually check it out in full size. Before we go any further, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsors here today, which is you guys. If you haven't done so already, make sure you give this video a like and a comment and go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you guys don't miss another video. Let's continue. Profile, pa profile page works, feed works well, the posts works well. Two things I do want to add, I'm going to actually update this. So instead of me like typing it in, I'm just going to use the audio so you can check it out. So I'm going to click this real quick. On the profile page, I want to be able to edit my profile image and I want to be able to add my profile image when I select edit profile. Not only when I select edit profile, I want to be able to add my socials for my LinkedIn and also add my socials for my Twitter and my GitHub as well. And the last thing that I do want to add is make sure that my profile image is only displayed on this displayed on my profile, but also inside my post. And the last thing I'm going to ask is that when I create a post inside the post form where it says share your project, I no longer want to add image URL. I want to be able to upload an image directly. And inside tags, I want you to create a drop down of tags that already pre-made that I can select for to enhance the user experience. That was that was a pretty in-depth prompt right there. There we go, right? That was a lot that I just asked for. Um break this out just like this. And I'm just going to select since this is more of a, a bigger ask, I'm going to select chat just so the chat can really understand all the requests that I'm asking for. And this is me pushing lovable right now. Usually I would ask for these changes like one by one piece by piece. I'm not longer doing that anymore. I'm trying to get the most out of my tokens. So right now, since I use chat, it knows everything that I asked for. It's already thinking about the database schema. It's already thinking about the, the user profile, the profile images, the avatar, everything that I've already asked for uh, in depth. It's already coming out with the tags, the breakdown ready to go. Um, I'm just gonna hit implement plan and look at all the database changes just based off that voice prompt that I asked for. That was a lot of uh, building here in the future. This, I think this would be a great way for me to connect with the community is, is to build this vibe code social. So uh, we're doing it live. We're, we're, we're announcing it live. We're building a vibe code social platform for you guys to join. Okay, cool. We are good to go. Um, so we have gotten our, so we hit that major prompt, a little bit of a bug. We fixed the bug. We're about like six prompt. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We're still six prompts into our vibe coding social application. So let's check out our profile first. Um, we hit ed edit profile and at add, add profile image. I'm going to add my profile real quick. Okay. I've got my profile image. Um, I've got that. Um, set up livable dev. I'll fill this stuff out a little bit later. Actually, I'm just put my, let me just put my, my, my Twitter handle real quick. That ready to go. Okay. I've dropped my Twitter handle. I add my GitHub later and tags. Mm. Put crack dev Add. I'm going to hit save. All right, still no major errors. I've got notifications ready to go. I see my image here, creative. And we are off and running. I even got a little tag here. I've got a little project. And let's see the feed real quick. Um, wow. We are off and running. Now, this is what I call a minimal viable product. So we've got something good ready to, ready to go. So we are just only six prompts in. Um, and we have a very, very strong, minimal viable product. Uh, we can all log in through, uh, authentication. 
Uh, we've got a feed page. People can upload their posts. We fixed a little bit of their uh, the UI. We've got all the tags ready to go for a better user experience. Um, we are cooking right now. Um, it's looking good. I really like this video playing in the background. I think it adds a little bit of a, a cool little cool little flair um, through it. Um, I'm going to ask you guys that are watching, definitely check out this application and, and, and start building a community and, and see what we can build this, this application on. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed our last video as we took our first initial prompt from Blue Mint AI over to Lovable to build out our core functionality. I showed you guys some tips and tricks of actually prompt engineering and using your own audio for you to prompt. In the next video, what we're actually going to do is connect our domain. We're going to build a little bit more of a functionality, and we're also going to cover some UX UI around mobile responsive design. So you can see the application get into a better state, especially when we go into mobile. Along the way, I'll keep sharing some tips and tricks. So make sure you guys tune in to video number three. Did I just one shot this entire demo?